Hey YouTube, wanted to make a video about my DIY sit to stand rising desk, which I built myself. Um, the reason I wanted to build it myself was that uh, I didn't want to pay several hundred dollars to buy one. Um, and I also wanted it to be, to match specific criteria such as, I wanted it to be manual hand crank because I, I didn't want more crap plugged in. I don't have much room for it um, and I just wanted it to be simple most of the designs I found on YouTube were way over engineered um, and I was just you know kind of frustrated with the idea of building one based on the designs I'd seen on YouTube so I set out to build one that was just much simpler um, and I am happy to say that I have achieved that um, so I'll just do a quick walkthrough of my setup here. As you can see, it's it's a five by two table. I've got three monitors up here. Um, you know, so it's it's heavy duty enough to handle the, all this pretty easily. Um, but let's just do a quick walkthrough. I'm not going to get too specific because I think uh, you can kind of fill in the details yourself if you're willing to build one yourself. But um, at the bottom here, I just have two flat bars two and a half wide half inch thick and they're about two feet long okay so pretty simple there I've just welded it to this square tubing um, and this square tubing was something I just found in the scrap pile it's actually galvanized and it has these holes in it so I decided I'd use that because um, it was in the scrap pile um, but I actually thought, hey, that'd be nice for two reasons. One, because it has holes in it, and I'm going to need to put some holes in it anyway. So I'll just utilize what holes are there. And two, I thought, well, I'll maybe shave a little bit of weight off too. So I thought, huh, why not? So I just used what I had here. Now, if you went and bought this stuff, it would be more expensive than just regular um, square tubing because this is galvanized. This is like the stuff you see on a lot of stop signs, at least where I'm from. Um, but... All that is is just welded to the base. And this is two inch tubing. Nope, inch and a half. Inch and a half tubing. Two and a half inch flat bar. Um, okay, inside of this square tubing, you probably can't see under here, it doesn't really matter anyway, but inside of the square tubing, is angle iron inch and a quarter angle iron as you can see there um, and all that does is slide up and down inside of the um, square tubing this is I believe inch and a half angle iron and all that is is welded to this other piece um, used to hold up the actual table itself and I just drilled some holes in there to screw into the wood um, again this was a prototype so I just kind of salvaged whatever materials and hardware that I had on hand so I wasn't even convinced that this was gonna work very well so I didn't really focus on the details but it functions and I'm happy with it and I don't really care much beyond that um, <clears throat> so this piece back here is a piece of angle iron um, a little bit bigger angle iron Two inch I guess I use um, and that's the only horizontal support between uh, the sides and this is what I mounted my winch to so that's the basic structure um, this is a basic hand crank winch it's only a 600 pound uh, winch it was, I think it was only 23 bucks um, and then I just I have two bolts here actually you can see I used to have it in the middle and then I decided well I realized I didn't need it in the middle and it was kind of hitting on my legs a little bit so I moved it over about as far as I could so just just enough space there so I don't you know rail my hand on the tubing um, and then basically this cable this is just one solid piece of cable with no breaks in it three sixteenths inch cable 
Okay, I upgraded from 330 seconds cable, um, which did not hold up very well. As you can see, it's already, cable's kinda starting to get kinked and bent, and I haven't even used it th that much. Um, so I don't know how that's gonna hold up over the long term. It's probably just gonna get kinda bent up, but I don't see it breaking anytime soon. Um, so I upgraded the cable. Um, the cable goes down to the bottom of the angle iron. Um, the cable's looped inside of a piece of hardware that I welded to the bottom of this angle iron. Um, it just has an eyelet. It's like um, it's like an eyelet with the screw on the bottom. I don't know what it's called. Um, but I basically just welded that piece of hardware to the bottom of the uh, angle iron. And so this cable is essentially attached to the bottom of the angle iron here. And that's what lifts the mechanism up. Um, so pretty, it's pretty basic. I can't really show it to you, but you just have to be careful about fitting these parts in here so that it's not too big and that it gets hung up on the square tubing. That's the only thing you really have to be uh, careful of. And this 3 16 inch cable is about as big as I could possibly go so that it actually fits inside here. And then I just put a loop on the cable and used one of those uh, <laughs> crimps or whatever to crimp the cable over. Um, so pretty simple. Um, and then, like I said, this is an unbroken piece of cable so that, you know, when this is not cranked up, this is just sitting here kind of loose. But that's good because I realized that then it kind of centers itself. Um, when you first start to crank on it, it basically centers itself. Um, the reason I didn't think this table was going to work is that I thought there was going to be too much binding between the square tubing and the angle iron. So I was really careful when I attached the tabletop that I didn't put any sort of torque one way or another on this angle iron because if I had done, if there had been any torque on it, it would have binded too much and I don't have any lubrication between these two. So I had to be really careful of that and I, I thought that it wasn't going to work because of that. I thought it was going to bind too much but um, turns out it actually worked pretty well and uh, I just had to be careful about it. So as I raise it, it kind of lifts one end up a little higher and then it lifts the other end up a little higher and it kind of teeters like that but it doesn't really bind at all and when it's up I mean it's level enough you know so I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out um the other thing you'll notice here is that I, this is kind of a common thing people do in a welding shop is you basically just weld a, a nut over top of this hole and then you put a bolt in there and just weld uh, this handle to the end of the bolt. So it makes a nice locking mechanism. And what that does is, even when it's down, I'll lock that because it eats up any slack that there might be between the square tubing and the angle iron. It just helps the table be more rigid. And then when I do crank the table up in the up position, I use this to lock it down. And again, that makes the table more stable. It also takes some of the stress off of the winch so that the winch isn't the only thing holding the table up. Um, another thing I do is I stick a bolt through here so that it acts as like a a backstop so that when I raise it up I'll actually lower it down on top of the safety bolt so I have three things helping support the table um, when it's in the up position the bolt this lock down here and the winch itself also does take some weight off and I have that on both sides 
Um, the only other thing I did was I welded a, a nut here to give the cable a little more surface area as it's making that corner. I didn't really want to use a pulley system, um, you know, just because of the complicated extra mechanism that could break. I thought, well, this, this at least gives a little more surface area so it's not grinding. The cable's not grinding on the edge of that thin square tubing, as you can see how thin the wall is there in that hole. Um, <clears throat> but as I did some digging, I found actually some other parts that might work better than that, but uh, I forget what they're called. They're basically just a, a little cable guide in the shape of like a, a U. Um, but this is, I think this is fine. So that's pretty much it. I mean, a very simple structure to the table and a very simple mechanism for, for cranking it up. Um, I guess maybe I can try to, I don't know if I can set the phone down and crank it up. Um, the only thing you have to be careful for is I have this giant mess of wires here and I have to make sure that they all lift up with the table. But um, The only other thing is, if you crank it up with this thing engaged, it is pretty loud. But you don't necessarily need that, that's just kind of a safety precaution. Um, hold my phone while I'm doing this but if you just disengage it you can crank it up you just have to make sure you don't let go of the handle otherwise it will come crashing down on you that's why I just prefer to leave that engaged All right so just cranking on it I guess I should probably loosen these up first cables are loose so then I lock that down I don't have a bolt with me at the moment but I would stick one underneath there um, and actually rest it on there but for now just locking these down is plenty secure and if I back up the table goes in its lowest position, the tabletop is about 29 inches or 30 inches tall, which I did some snooping around and measuring, and that's pretty standard. Um, and when it's up, I try to, you know, I could crank this up a little higher, but so my elbow is at about a 90 degree angle, is comfortable, and it can easily go up that high. I also have to be careful here because my studio monitors are also on a stand here, and I don't want them banging into each other. So, very much a do-it-yourselfer. Um, got these mattresses here in case we have guests, but in the meantime, it acts as soundproofing for my studio. <laughs> um, you call it tacky or resourceful. Either way, I'm proud of it. Um, but anyway, there's my there's my desk. Um, yeah, so this is basically my second version. It was successful. The main changes that I made were that I moved the winch from the middle to the side after I realized I didn't need it in the middle. And then I also enlarged the size of the cable to 3 16 But very simple, um, very recreatable. Um, I guess I should talk about cost. Now, I work in a welding shop. I teach high school uh, welding. So this is just kind of a quick side project. Um, I ran some numbers on what, this, what the total cost is, and I got a lot of this for scrap. This tabletop was just an old desk from uh, the high school. Uh, it was in storage. Nobody wanted it, so I snagged that for nothing. Um, 
So that didn't cost me anything. But assuming it, assuming I had to pay for everything here, steel, um, table, winch, cable, I think that you can do this for anywhere between eighty and a hundred dollars. Um, and if you can find scrap material like I did, you can do it for less.